Good morning, friends. How are you? I think I begin all of these with the same line. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. Welcome to, I don't even know what day of launch week this is, but we are going to do our ultimate simplified planner setup guide today. And I just realized I'm not wearing my rings or my bracelets and I feel like my hands are naked. Um, hi everybody. Happy Friday. Today we're going to be talking about what to do when you get your simplified planner and how to get it fully set up so that come August 1st, or if you're watching this video later and you're using a calendar year edition come January 1st, how you can really hit the ground running with your simplified planner to really make changes in your life and not just manage whatever you have going on now. So what we're going to do is talk about setting up your planner for a fresh start. Um, I am going to be showing you a little example planner that we've set up. Hopefully my camera will cooperate and adjust lighting whenever I hold it up. Um, I have a happy stripe daily here. So I'm going to be showing you this setup guide in a daily edition, but I'll also walk you through the weekly so that you know exactly what's in that particular planner. And, um, all of these, all of these steps and tips will apply to the weekly as well as the daily. Um, just to give a recap for any new friends here, okay, a lot of people are saying it's spinning again like it was yesterday. Um, if you're having any trouble, I think that it's because something's going on with mobile. We were having this problem yesterday too. If you hop over to a desktop, it should be um, a little bit better. Either that or there's some kind of lag. So I'm going to wait just a couple minutes to make sure it's working for everyone. Good news is, the recordings work just fine. So um, later you'll be able to see, but it looks like it's okay now. Okay, every, yeah, everybody's saying try it on the desktop. It's mobile. Awesome. Okay, I'll stop stalling now. Okay, so if you're having trouble, join us on a desktop. If otherwise, the recording of this works just fine, so you'll be able to see it later. Um, so just a general recap really fast for anyone who's brand new, just to answer any of the FAQs that are like moving around in your head right now. Um, we are launching our brand new simplified planners along with eight additional <laughs> products next Wednesday, May 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern time at emilylay.com. And there we will have six different covers for you to choose from, um, in the daily editions and six different covers for you to choose from in the weekly editions. And all of those editions begin August 1st. Those are the dates and they end uh, at the end of July next year. So you get 12 full months. Um, to use your simplified planner. I'll show you the features of the daily and the weekly as we go so that you can see the difference between each. But if you would like to see more up close detail as well as read the details and the features of each one, see interior photos, watch some really awesome walkthrough videos um, and take a quiz to see which edition and which cover is right for you and fits your style best, then you can go to the link in the caption here and um, go to our big simplified planner page where you can see everything. And again, these launch May the 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So also make sure that you are on our email list. I think the link to the email list is in this caption. Otherwise, you can go to the link here and scroll around and you'll find the, the where you can sign up. But get on our newsletter list because I'm going to be talking about a printable today that's free for you to print at home and use when you set up your simplified planner. Um, and we're going to be emailing it out to you um, later this afternoon, I think at two. Okay. Um, all right. Well, here we go. Um, again, if you guys are having any trouble seeing this, hop over to a desktop. I think we've determined that that's the issue. There's something going on with the Facebook app uh, on mobile. Okay. So pretend like you just got your simplified planner in the mail. It arrived in its beautiful fuchsia box. Hey, can we all hand me a box? I'm attached to the computer by a microphone here. Just any, any of them. That, does that one have a planner in it? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I just need the little thingy. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Okay, so this is the box that it's going to arrive in, and this is uh, this is one of our limited edition fuchsia boxes that are out only for this year. Um, it will arrive in here. You open it up. Let me just show you what you get when you open your box. So this is a thin happy stripe daily. You can see it's wrapped in bubble wrap because we like to keep it nice and safe in there. You have a little note for me over here and then you have your 
planner on the side, and then right here is, this is a little uh, booklet that you'll get with just some general tips and tricks and ways to really get the most out of your planner. So this little book, Caroline, my daughter, likes to call this her, her planner. This is her planner, you get one too. Um, it just has some details inside about how to get set up, really quick and easy steps to getting it going. Um, we also, over here, we gave you some information about our friends over at Cultivate What Matters. They make power sheets and we love them. They're great for goal planning if you're looking for a deeper dive into something like that. Um, and yeah, this is just gonna give you a general overview of how to get it set up. But you're also gonna have that information inside the front of your planner. So step one, when you get your planner, set it aside. Set the thing aside and make some time, just set aside a good hour after the kids go to bed or when you get some time to yourself, maybe on your lunch break, where you can sit down in a nice clean area, get yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever, and um, get your planner out and also use the free printable we're gonna send you today, it's a perpetual calendar. So a perpetual calendar is where you have the months listed and then just lines underneath so that you can um, write down dates that you're gonna actually transfer into every planner you ever use. So these are dates that never change, like so-and-so's birthday, your parents' anniversary, your anniversary, um, any important dates that never ever change, you're gonna write those down so that you always have them within, within reach and can add them to any planner you use. That perpetual calendar, I suggest sticking it in the front pocket of your planner right here um, so that you can then take it out and move it to the next one or you can paper clip it to the back uh, maybe like the back page of your planner if you want to keep it kind of out of the way and save that pocket for something else so um, step one give yourself some time give yourself some time to sit down to think it through and not just start working in your planner and putting dates in right away the reason why we added the new feature this year, which is our simplified prep work, um, is because I really wanted to give an additional heart piece to the simplified planner. I wanted, I wanted something within the planner that could really help you sit down and think intentionally about the next 12 months. Rather than just keeping life as it is and trying to organize the crazy, it's kind of like we say about clutter in your home. You can't organize clutter, right? If you have a whole bunch of junk or trash or things you don't need or outgrown clothes or whatever, you can try your best to organize that, but it's gonna be way harder than if you were to really make space to prune and like get rid of things you don't need. Um, and the same can be said for your calendar, your planner. Um, if you're trying to organize a life that's overcommitted, that's frazzled at every end, that has no margin, it's gonna be way harder for you to plan that life than it is if you sit down and look a year ahead and think about like, where do I wanna be 12 months from now? What is working right now and what's not working right now? Um, are there things that are extra that maybe I can say not right now to? Maybe it's the wrong season for a certain volunteer commitment or um, a certain, maybe, I mean, we just did this recently with our kids. They were overcommitted with extracurricular activities and we decided to cut back and be home more during this season of life. We're about to move this summer, and um, we decided we just wanted more at home time um, to kind of calm things down a little bit as we prepare for that, that big transition. So um, the simplified prep work is in the very beginning, but before you get to that, you're gonna see the process of simplifying. And that there are four quick steps that you can read inside your planner naming what matters, eliminating distractions, establishing routines, and then choosing what matters. And that is what the prep work helps you do. So over here on this side, this is in the daily and the weekly, you'll see information. This is like tactical stuff. Um, do your prep work, add birthdays and anniversaries, add reminders, make time and get messy, and then how to care for your simplified planner. If little jelly covered fingers were to find the cover of your planner, you can use um, a damp paper towel, or I love those little, what are those things called, those Mr. Clean things? Magic erasers, I love those things. Um, and they work perfectly as well. We do have a brand new matte finish to all of our Simplified Planner covers to help keep them protected as you take them about your day. Uh, your Simplified Planner is gonna show wear and tear just like anything you own, but we've added that just to give an extra layer of protection. So keep it safe, keep it away from little jelly cover fingers, but if that were to happen, we have some tips here for you on what to do. Um, okay, so we're gonna dive into the prep work 
first. I would suggest if you sit down with your planner and you have some time, open up to the prep work place and that is where you can really start thinking. So the very first page here is um, looking back. So we're gonna do a little evaluation in the last 12 months. How do you feel? Like what's working in your life right now? What's not working? Where are the pain points? And I love the idea of finding, identifying those pain points in your life so that you can say like, getting my kids out the door in the morning is not working. <laughs> Yesterday in my house, getting two three and a half year olds and a seven year old out the door was not working. And so we decided this morning that we were going, well last night actually, we were gonna do a better job about getting lunches packed and ready. The back, like this morning I got up early and got the lunch boxes in the backpacks and set by the front door so that they weren't going crazy trying to get them on and buckle all the buckles and you know what I'm talking about. It was crazy. This morning it was a lot better. Um, but identifying those pain points and being intentional about fixing them or alleviating what we can, obviously three and a half year olds are going to be difficult sometimes in the morning. Um, but do, there are certain things that I can do to make it a little bit better and alleviate it a little bit. So what worked last year? This might be very big picture. Like it didn't work that I was, you know, did this huge volunteer project. Um, even though it's, even though some things are good and wonderful and good for the community and the world and other people, maybe just because you're good at it or just because you can earn money at it or just because it's good for someone else, maybe it's not right for you right now. Doesn't mean you have to do it. And so this is me giving you permission to say no to some things in your life, even if they're good. And I say that from complete and total experience of being a totally overcommitted person. This is like a cyclical adventure for me. I get to a place in my life where I'm overcommitted and then I have to prune back because I like to say yes to all the things. So this is where we start thinking about that. What worked last year? What didn't work last year? There are certain parts of our day that really work for us. And I'm, I'm nervous because we're moving and everything is going to change. But um, what worked for us is that my husband gets up and takes Brady to school. And having him on that part of things and me on the twins part of things, getting them to school, like that separation of duties really works for us. So having that written down and saying like, this really worked. It gives me a little confidence that like, I can also identify other ways, other routines that may really work, other ways to simplify my life that may really work. Um, and then what didn't work? On this side, looking ahead. So taking into account what worked and what didn't work, what system or routine would help your life run smoother over the next 12 months, right? If you've read A Simple Life, my book, you know what I'm talking about. There are many types of ways that we can implement systems or automation or routines that eventually become habits and then just become part of daily life and make it run a little bit smoother. So ideas for new routines and ideas for new healthy habits. That has been, especially this week, so this is launch week for us and it's like crazy busy for all of us. Um, I am have to have a lot of energy to keep doing all of these Facebook lives and Instagram lives and all these things. So implementing healthy habits for me has been really important. Like going to bed at 10 o'clock and not 12 o'clock. I'm a little bit of a night owl. Um, you know, eating a good breakfast every morning and not like as I'm running out the door, doing little things to take better care of myself so that I can be better for other people. Then on the other, on the next page, um, we have weekly routines. So creating routines for weekly tasks and chores just to help alleviate the burden of accomplishing everything all at one time. I'm looking at you, Sunday laundry warrior. I used to be you. I do a little load of laundry every day now and it makes a giant difference. Um, writing those things down, like on Mondays, maybe that's the day we clean the bathrooms. On Tuesdays, maybe that's the day that we write our grocery list for the week. Just having those things written down. And then this is one of my favorite pages. Uh, the next page is daily routines. So I can show you the pages a little more up close. So daily routines, this is something I talked a lot about in A Simplified Life. And um, I love having a morning routine written down and an evening routine written down. And so what that means is writing down all the things I wanna do every morning to set myself up for success for the day and then all the things I wanna do in the evening for a good night's sleep and to set myself up for success the next day. And not just myself, but my kids too. Um, that means evening routines include cleaning up, you know, wiping off the countertops in the kitchen so that we're ready for breakfast the next morning, um, making lunches. 
is anybody else like sick and tired of making lunchboxes, lunchbox lunches right now? Can we all just raise our hands? Like, I feel, I feel like at the beginning of the school year, I was like, bento boxes and like cute little things in the lunch boxes and it was adorable and like picture worthy and now I, what are those smuckers peanut butter and jelly sandwiches they come in the package i need to buy i haven't bought them yet but i'm i'm almost there um yeah okay so back to evening routines doing things to set yourself up for success uh the next day and then morning routines like take your vitamins emily um drink i try to drink like a big glass of water every morning just having those things written down so that you can kind of check it off. It, well, you'll have it written down and you'll need to refer to it every now and then to like get the habit going. But once you keep going, you will develop a healthy habit. Like that will become second nature to you. And it's just the way you're going to do your morning. Um, okay. So that is the simplified prep work. It comes in every planner. I love it. Oh, there's one more page. Hold on. It's the simplicity challenge. So in late 2016, I think it was, I was supposed to be writing my first book and I was actually sitting at Starbucks and I was just stumped on this one chapter and I was like, I need a distraction. What's on my heart right now that I can do to just kind of get my brain out of this book and onto something else and maybe just refresh my creativity a little bit. And um, what was on my heart at the time was like easy ways to simplify, right? That don't cost any money that take 10 to 15 minutes or less one little thing you can do every day for 30 days to set yourself up, like to completely change your life. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It will completely change your life if you do one tiny little step every day for 30 days. The simplicity challenge then became this whole thing. We made this, uh, these graphics. We shared them in, on Instagram every January, um, and it, honest to goodness, like, it just went nuts. Like so many people started doing it. And I started hearing these stories of people that were like, this is so simple. This is so easy to do and so attainable um, that the simplicity challenge became a thing that we do every year. And so we love it so much that we put it in your simplified planner. So now you can do it at any point during the year. You can start it. You can do it for a month. You can do it all at one time. You can do it little by little throughout the year, but all the steps are right here and they're all very, very tactical and they are free. So it's little things like, Clean out your medicine cabinet, um, trash anything expired, and restock essentials. Essentials. Um, set a reoccurring alarm for every weekday. If you're letting your kids wake you up, set it for an hour earlier. I know you're all looking at me like I'm crazy, but that sounds insane. And no, I don't do that every single day, but it makes a big difference if you get up first. Um, let's see. Go put gas in your car today. While you're there, clean out your car and throw trash away. Simple, 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 right? Things we're going to do anyways, but turning them into a way that we can just make life run a little bit smoother. I just need to back up a second and say this whole brand, this, the Simplified Planner, all my books, everything was written because I lived in a constant state of frantic for a long time. And this journey towards simplifying things and just making them easier and giving myself the space and permission to slow down and actually enjoy life has been life changing. And I tend to get there often. <laughs> I think that's why this has been so fun for us to do because I know what it feels like to be too busy all the time, all the time. In fact, last night I thought I am too busy. I need to take a few steps back and figure out what I can prune, where I can make space for the most important things in my life, the four other people who live in my house. Um, and so, this stuff matters because if you try, if you give yourself permission to slow down and to embrace some of these steps, I promise you it will change your life. Um, the next page, we have your yearly bucket list. And this is something we've always had in the Simplified Planner, and it is a, uh, a page where you can write down things that you would like to say at the end of the next 12 months that you did that year. And they can be anything from going camping with your family to exploring that new entrepreneurial adventure, to a staycation at the beach at home, which is one of our summer bucket list things this summer, um, reading a book once a month. Whatever it is, you can write those down here and then you check them off as you plan them in your calendar. So write them down and once you go and you write them down, wherever you're gonna do them, I would suggest putting it on the monthly pages. Um, write down when you're gonna do it. Like, be intentional and actually make it happen. Okay, so those are your all of your simplified prep work pages. The next page.
there is the monthly spread. That is both the weekly editions. Um, this is the new watercolor for, sorry, my camera keeps like focusing and not focusing and it's kind of weird. Um, this is the weekly and you'll see that you have all those pages in the front as well, if I can find them. Right about, there you go. Okay. Um, so you've sat down with your planner, you have made some time to dig in, to do this kind of thought work, to think through where you are, where you want to go, what you want this year to look like. Um, and now is the time where we start doing the tactical things. So what I would suggest doing at this point, and if you're watching this video and you have your planner and you're actually setting it up with me, I would suggest turning to one of the first couple pages where you see um, do your prep work. So this is that tactical page that I was telling you about that says how to use your simplified planner. So you've done your prep work. Now is the time to go in and add birthdays and anniversaries. If you have those written down on your perpetual calendar, that's super easy. You just go in and add them to the daily or the weekly. Um, pages, and then you also add them to the month. So I add them to the monthly spreads and the individual weekly or daily pages. So you have them everywhere and you don't forget. Then go in and add reminders. So add reminders on or before important days. So like two weeks before Mother's Day, you can go and add um, like time to shop for a Mother's Day gift or time to buy a Mother's Day card. Um, I would also say write down any, any other big dates that you have in mind, like um, next year's Simplify Planner launch. <laughs> you can put that in your planner. We're actually, we'll be sharing the dates of those soon. We already have them figured out. Um, and then lastly, make time and get messy. So make time for what matters. Um, and don't be afraid to get your Simplify Planner messy. That is the biggest tip I have for you when you use the Simplify Planner. I think so many times we go out and we purchase really beautiful planners or great organizers or these awesome tools and we think this is going to change my life here it is i feel so empowered there's so much hope and then what happens it sits on the shelf and looks beautiful all year long don't do that with our planner i'm giving you complete and total permission to scratch things out use your messy handwriting color code to your heart's content use whiteout if you want put stickers over things if you mess up Cross them out, move them to the next page. My, this is a sample planner. My actual planner is a complete and total mess. And I love it that way, because that's just real life. Um, I actually don't have tons of time to sit down and like decorate it and make it look super. I love seeing how other people do it, but mine is a total mess and it's fine because it does the job, right? Okay, um, I saw just a quick question that caught my eye. Someone had asked to see the two different planners. So, um, there are six different covers, but this is the daily edition. It's wire O bound. It's not spiral. Spiral is a different type of binding. This is wire O, it's metal. Um, and this is the weekly edition, and it is uh, book bound. And you can see the difference between the two. Obviously the pages, well, this one's weekly spreads, and this one's daily pages. And um, this one's $48, and this one's $58. And they all come with all the things I just told you about, and they come in this really pretty box. Um, the one other thing I want to tell you that it comes with is free monthly coaching from me. So something that was really like on my heart last year is that I wanted a way to connect with all of our Simplified Planner users throughout the life of their planners. I wanted them to feel, A, like they had community and support. Um, B, I wanted to continually like be providing content that's inspiring and making you kind of think about this, living this type of a simplified life. So once a month, um, starting about a month after you purchase your planner, this is only for planners purchased from our website, you will get an email in your inbox with freebies. Sometimes we send out a coupon code. Um, we'll send you, a, in every single one there's a video and it's me, <laughs> kind of like this talking to you and just giving you advice on a certain topic, um, tips on how I use my planner for meal planning, for wrangling kiddos, um, for um, like different planner hacks that we've heard from other users, just all kinds of things that once a month I'm gonna put in your inbox for you to hopefully inspire you and encourage you. I also would love for you to join our Simplified Community Group. You can um, search Facebook for Simplified Community Group you can request access. We have to approve it the way that it's set up, um, but we approve everybody. So 
go in, request access, and we'll let you join, and it's really awesome. If you have purchased from us in the last 12 months, and you don't, you aren't receiving the coaching, shoot us an email, and we're happy to get that to you. Sometimes they go to spam. I don't know why. Um, sometimes we send from a company called MailChimp, and sometimes uh, MailChimp emails get eaten. So check spam folders. Um, but if you have any trouble, just shoot us an email, and we'll get those over to you. Um, okay. Let's see. There's one more thing that I need to let you guys know about before I start taking some questions, and that is our launch day survival kits. So um, we do two launch days a year. We have a launch in the spring and a launch in the fall. And the spring is when we release our academic year planners, um, the weekly or the daily, but the dates are August through next July. And then in the fall, which is September 5th, we release our calendar year editions. Same covers, same everything, the only difference is the dates. So those planners are dated January through December of next year. Um, and then we also release our Dapper Desk planners in September as well. And if you want to learn more about Dapper Desk, you can go and watch the Facebook Live I did yesterday all about Dapper Desk to see those and to see the new covers of those. Um, okay, I saw, okay, wait, launch day survival kit before I get too distracted. <laughs> if I look at the comments, I get completely thrown off because there's just, there's so many questions and I want to like get on them all right away. But Hannah and Dusty are gathering questions, so I, will, I promise I will get to you as soon as we get through Launch Day Survival Kit. Launch Day Survival Kit, I make for my whole team. We have a team of six women. They're all remote. They're all over the country. Um, launch week and launch day are like what we plan for all year long. So we started making these planners a year ago. Um, we have been hiding these covers from you for a long time and getting... Hopefully this all feels very seamless on your end, but on our end there's tons of back end work that happens in terms of getting all the freebies made and getting ready and writing outlines for these Facebook Lives and all the things. There's so many things that go into it to make it fun and seamless. And so I love to love on these ladies and send them each a launch day survival kit and it's full of just fun little surprises to make launch day really fun and just to love on them a little bit. So we make an extra one every year to give to one of our followers and friends. And so you can enter to win um, a launch day survival kit. And I'm going to show you what is in every single one. And hey, Hannah, can you text me a bitly? Yes. If you put it in quotes, I can be, I'll be able to read it. Um, okay. Hannah has been hard at work on our launch day survival kit. And she um, has sent me all the details on everything, everything so that I can read it off the list and show it to you and not forget anybody. Okay. The first thing you're going to get in the Launch Day Survival Kit, if you win it, is a Simplified Planner. <laughs> you get your choice of whatever Simplified Planner you want, and you will be getting it before launch. You will be, you will be picking it out before launch day. We're going to announce the winner at around 9.50, 9.45, right before we hit the big red button to go live. Um, we're going to be going live, live on Facebook here, um, and probably on Instagram too. We're probably going to like double cast it. Um, but you get to watch us all just freak out in the office and hit the big red button. Four of our six will be here that day. Um, but you will get to pick out your simplified planner before everyone else. So no matter what sells out on launch day, you will get the one you want. Okay. Next thing is you will get a signed copy of both my books. Um, a simplified life here. It's a simplified life, tactical tools for intentional living. It's a super tactical book all about simplifying 10 key areas of life that we as women often feel like are completely overwhelming. Thanks. Um, this is it. And um, this guy was a national bestseller and is available all over the place. But um, it's so much of my heart and it was so much fun to write because it's just so tactical and like, I just love it. Okay. Um, the other one is like a huge piece of my heart. Grace, not perfection. This is my first book and this is more stories from my life. A lot of moments where I fell flat on my face in my own quest to have it all together, which I think we can all relate to. Um, but I love this book so much and it just continues to like amaze me the hands that it gets into and how many women it's touched. Um, so I'll send you one of uh, each of those signed. And next up, we have a beautiful tumbler. So I actually use one of these tumblers every single day. Um, we, my husband and I are um, co-owners of Concord Coffee in Lakeland, Florida. And we make Concord Coffee here at home and it is the best coffee ever. 
just a little plug for Concord, but I use my, I use a tumbler like this. That's one of those stainless things to keep it warm all day long. And it's awesome. Um, and so this is our watercolor floral pattern. And this is from our friends at May designs. And do we know, are they making these Hannah and selling them? I think they are. I think they are, but I'm not. Well, I'm going to ask them to make them if they're not. I think they're <laughs> They make notebooks and all kinds of other things with our patterns on them. I'm pretty sure they're going to make these. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and they make them in our current, oh, they do? Yeah. In our current patterns right now? Yeah. Um, so then they will. They'll have these uh, soon. And we'll let you know when they do. They're wonderful. And they're really, Micah is a really great friend of mine. Um, okay. Next up. This is the O Venture Key Ring. And this is so cute. I actually have a pink one. Oh, my keys are over there. But I actually use the pink one on my keys. And I love it because deep inside the depths of my purse with all these little ones and all their things in my bag, I can easily find my keys. <laughs> so um, our friends at OVenture um, sent us these. And we are going to give one to one of you. Okay. Next up is, oh, I'm so excited about these. Uh, this is a last minute thing that we decided to make, but we made t-shirts. So this one's a little wrinkly because it's been, uh, it's been folded up over there, but we made t-shirts. This is a size medium. Um, but so we just had a random medium shirt made, uh, but we're going to send you this. It says, it has our logo on it and it says launch day, spring 2018. And then on the back, it says minimal and meaningful. And I know you guys are all going to ask us if we're going to make and sell t-shirts one day. And I don't know. <laughs> we're doing hats right now, but maybe one day. But it says minimal and meaningful. It's our little slogan. Um, and we will send you this t-shirt. All right. Next up is a face-to-face -face designs candle. And look how cute this is. They put our little slogan on it. Can you see it? Wait, I'm turning it the wrong way. Minimal and meaningful. The slogan is actually on the bag, but inside is a beautiful little white candle. Okay. Um, what everyone on Team Simplified needs for launch day is a pineapple stress ball. So my kids have tried to steal these a hundred times. I feel like I need to go on Amazon and like buy them some just so they have them. Uh, but it's a little stress ball, a little pineapple stress ball. Perfect for work. Okay. Um, next up is chef inspired popcorn. And this is something, this is from Tampa, right? Are they a Tampa company? Yeah. Oh, this is a Tampa company. I live in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Not for long. Um, but this is, um, chef inspired popcorn. So once you need that, a nice little snack to keep you fed on launch day. Um, and then we're going to send you one of our, we announced these yesterday, and these will be for sale in our shop on launch day. These are the brand new Happy Stripe Pilot Precise V5 pens. Um, they're in our colors. There's one black one, which is not part of our Happy Stripe lineup, but I tend to usually just write in all um, black ink and then like color code with other color coding pens like throughout. Um, so we'll give you a, one of these sets of pens. We are so excited about these. We worked with our friends at Pilot on these for the last, I don't even know how long. So they're amazing. I'm going to give you a link to enter and like get all the details in just a sec. Um, okay. Oh, you know what we don't have over here? The candy. The little candy thing. There you go. <laughs> and, oh, sorry. <laughs> these are so cute. So story about these. These are little pineapple treat kebabs. The, we saw these on Pinterest and we it was like one of those untagged, uncredited photos. And so we like DIY'd them and, and thought they were awesome. And then we found out they're actually made by a company called Sweets Indeed. And one of our followers was so sweet to connect us with her. And so all credit goes to her. She designed these um, and she makes and sells these in her shop. She was so sweet and so gracious. I felt so bad because we had no idea they were someone else's design. Uh, but when we found them on Pinterest, we were like, that's amazing. So you'll get one of these as well. Okay. I think that's everything and where you can go to enter. Well, one of you guys post this in the comments. Um, oh, you did. Okay. Hannah posted. Um, oh, it says that I posted it, but Hannah's logged in as me. <laughs> um, you can enter to win the launch day survival kit at that link. And then we can also, when this is over, we'll post it in the caption. 
to this as well. But that's where you go to enter to win. There is a place where you can enter once, and then you can also get a bonus entry. And you have from now until next Wednesday at, at I think it ends at 9 o'clock Eastern time, um, and we will be selecting the winner live. So watch our going live live on launch day because we might call your name and you might not have to shop launch day unless you want all those other cool products that we, that we announced. Okay. Um, Hannah, somebody said it's not a clickable link. It's working for me though. Yeah. I, try copying and pasting it if the link's not working for you because it's working over here for me. Um, and thank you guys for posting the May Designs link too. May Designs is who made those awesome tumblers. And if they don't have our new designs up yet, then they will. Um, okay. What else? Questions? Anybody have any questions? Hi. Okay. Will you ever launch a pocket size or purse smaller camera? Mm. Somebody asked if um, we are ever going to launch a pocket size or purse size planner. We don't have any plans for those right now, but um, we are exploring some other fun formats, so we will keep you posted if we decide to do anything different. Tips for deciding between the daily or um, tips for deciding between the daily or the weekly. So good question. And I will, let me just show you. I think I remember what, which page I had mocked up. I, I made a mock up page this morning so that I could just show you guys the new edition. Oh, I didn't even mention that. We made a small change to the daily pages. Um, so every year when my team, when we sit down to work on the simplified planners for next year and y'all believe it or not, we're working on next year's already. <laughs> it's crazy how far in advance we work, but it's because of our paper. So our paper is Mohawk via vellum and it's basically the best paper ever. You pens don't bleed the whole nine, uh, but it takes a long time. It's milled and made in New York. So it just takes a long time. Okay. Um, so this is the daily page, but when we sat down to figure out like, is there any way that we could simplify the page even more? And we've all been using the planner forever now. And the thing, that, and I was like scared to make this change, but I'm so glad I made it. Um, we removed the line right here that used to separate this big space. So this used to say dinner and this used to say notes, but I found myself sometimes needing more dinner space because I literally can't remember a recipe in my head to save my life um, or more notes space. And so we opened it up. So now it just says notes. And you can use this for your dinner space. You can use it for notes. You can use it as a gratitude box, as a journal space, whatever you want to do. Um, here you have such a long space to write. And I love it too because my handwriting is kind of big sometimes. My handwriting changes every day. But sometimes it's a little big and I just like to have more space. So we simplified the daily page by doing that. And it has been like a really, really exciting um, change. I think people are like really excited about it. Um, Okay, so choosing between the daily and the weekly. I got totally distracted with how excited I was about the page. And Dusty's like, back to the question. Uh, daily and weekly. I use the daily planner because I love lots of space. Like, I love to just have lots and lots of space to write. Sometimes I will separate my to-do list, work, and personal. And then these are our color-coding dot stick. Wait, those are color-coding dot stickers. These are stickers from our sticker book. Um, but I like to have a lot of space to write and I tend to like, if I'm doing something during the day where I need to take notes and I don't have a lot going on that day in the schedule spot, I'll just start writing things. It's like ruled paper, you know, I'll just start writing things on it. So I love the daily for that reason. When my twins were born in 2015, I used the weekly edition because I was a lot, things were a lot slower. I took a longer maternity leave. Um, like I was just trying to learn life with twins and I just didn't have a lot of appointments. Um, and so I used it a weekly and I loved it. I loved seeing my whole week at a glance. And that is, I love seeing the whole week at once. And so this is our weekly edition. Um, every day on the weekly has space for your schedule, for your to-do list and for dinner. Um, and then you can see over here on the Sunday, uh, pay, on the Sunday spot, we have um, our Sunday prep list written in. So, I would use a weekly if you want to see your whole week at one time or if you need something more portable because this is definitely smaller. Um, and then I would say the daily edition if you want more space. If you're still confused and you're just not sure and you just want me to tell you something that you should do, I would choose a daily. Um, better to have too much space than not enough. 
Um, but you can also take our quiz, and the link is here in the caption as well. And our quiz will ask you questions about your personal style, your home style, your lifestyle, what you know, how you like to see things or plan things, what you have going on in your life, and it will tell you which Simplify Planner is best for you, weekly or daily, which cover design. I took it, and it told me Mint Pineapple Daily, and I'm, I'm believing it, and I'm going Mint Pineapple Daily this year, which I think all of you are too. So if you want a Mint Pineapple Daily, you better get on it next Wednesday. <laughs> but I get the first one. Okay. Okay, do you put an all in focus on the special calendar for the year or the beginning of each month? Um, okay, so somebody asked, do you put all the information from your perpetual calendar in for the entire year at one time or do you go month by month? So um, in terms of the way I think about life, I like to plan as far in advance as I can. <laughs> like I was the person in grad school or in college that was like, I have a master's degree in nonprofit management. So I was like, in grad school while working full time and I would write my term paper that was due at the end of the semester like on day three. I'm sure no one is surprised, but like I just didn't want that weighing on me so I would get it done like as fast as I could <laughs> so that it was done. So perpetual calendar, I would just plan that whole thing out. Like I said, take an hour, sit down, write everything in your planner, get as much out of your brain as possible. And that's, to, the key to simplifying life in general is to get as much out of your brain as possible free it up to think about everything else um, and if you have it written down it will stare at you in the face every day and you'll be good to go um, we I don't I think we're doing a Facebook live on this if not I'll squeeze it in at some point but I use iCal and my planner at the same time and I'll tell you all about how that works for me but my whole team is remote so we have to use iCal to keep track of our appointments and things um, but every Sunday I sit down with iCal and my simplified planner and I transfer everything for the week in terms of like daily, day-to-day -day stuff, but having all the big picture things already written in helps so much. So then that week, I'm working out of my simplified planner, and then on Sunday, I start over. I pull everything out, put it all in, and keep going. It may sound complicated, but it's worked for me for, I don't know how long, six, seven years now. Um, it's a pretty good system. Okay, can Chadians enter the giveaway if they get shipped from their Canada? Um, somebody said, can, it, can Canadians enter the giveaway if they have it shipped to a U.S. address? Yes. So. I'm so sorry, international friends. But our launch day survival kit is just US only, US address, shipping address only, just because, um, as you guys know, shipping is crazy and we want it to get to you soon. And sometimes shipping uh, internationally can be a little bumpy. But we also have a new fulfillment house and our shipping rates are a lot better. So um, we worked long and hard at that for the past year to find a great fulfillment house and our shipping rates, they have been able to negotiate great rates on our behalf and you'll be very pleased on launch day. International too. Um, if you could recommend one sticker set for color coding, which one would you choose? Ooh, good question. Somebody said if you can recommend one sticker set for color coding, which one would you choose? Hands down the color coding dots. I need to check inventory of those because I need like 10 of them shipped to my house. Um, but I love our little color coding dots because they just fit perfectly. And they're in all the happy stripe colors. I don't have one right here, but they're in all the happy stripe colors. And um, they last a long time because there's about a billion of them in a pack. Don't quote me on it. It's not actually a billion. <laughs> uh, what planners is the team choosing? What planners are our team choosing? So my mom actually asked me this last Was that my mom that asked that? My mom asked me this last night. Um, so our team... I asked them on Facebook Live the other day, I was like, okay, everybody, what, what planners are you choosing this year? Thinking it was gonna be, as per usual, a mix of dailies, weeklies, covers. Every single person chose Mint Pineapple Daily. Except Hannah. Did you decide yet, Hannah? Um, I'm between Pineapple and Navy Dot. Oh, so Hannah's, that's right. She's between Pineapple and Navy Dot. But you like the daily, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so daily Navy Dot or Daily Pineapple, but Hannah's, Hannah's holding out, so we've got to take some time to decide. For me, it was between pineapple and the blue tile, because I, I have a special place in my heart for the blue tile. I love it so much. Um, but the navy dot is also really cute. I, don't, I like them all. It's like asking me to pick a favorite child. No. Okay. <laughs> got any more? Yeah, for the giveaway, if someone already gets the newsletter, will there be a mess if they sign up again for the giveaway? Um, someone is asking me if they sign up for the giveaway, will it mess things up with their newsletter? Like, will they be double signed up for the newsletter? No, 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 you won't. No, not at all. Uh, oh, and Wit just said she is using the weekly. Wit, I didn't know this. Wit is our art director, Whitney Hawkins. And she said she's using the weekly because she's going on maternity leave. I like that. 
Oh, and Brittany just said she, <laughs> my team text message was a group thread is going like this. Um, Brittany said she used the daily to track baby feedings. That's good. I didn't even think about it. I used the weekly to track double baby, baby feeding, but I also used a printable we have in our free printable library. That's a baby tracker printable that I actually made for myself and my twins are born. And it works well too. Good segue. Someone asked with free printables, do you just fold them and keep them in your... Oh, room? yeah. Good segue. Somebody asked with the free printables, do we just fold them up and put them in the pocket? And yes. So when I was using the weekly, when my twins were born and I was using that baby tracker printable that we have. Um, it, I actually had to take that thing and like add two of them and then I like combine them together because twins. Um, but I used that, that printable and I, yes, I tucked it inside the front pocket of my simplified planner. I also do it in my planner, which is way over there. I actually tuck in the go to meals printable as well because I have major problems in the kitchen with like meal planning and cooking and, does not come easily to me at all. I have a tendency to burn water. Um, so I need all the help I can get. But yeah, I keep that inside the front pocket too. With my color coding stickers, because I use them all the time, um, and they fit in there also. Um, oh, and Brittany just said, yeah, the doctor's always asking about number of feedings and diapers and all that stuff. So she tracked it all in there. That's awesome. Cool. Anybody else? That's it. All right, guys. Well, we are so excited. For launch day, um, the giveaway, the link is in here, and I'm actually going to put it um, here in my uh, caption in just a few minutes, and then we'll also post it over on Instagram so that you have it. But you can go and enter to win a launch day survival kit. Um, there's a place where you can enter, but then there's also bonus ways that you can enter. Um, and... Okay, I'm just making sure I got everything. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to be on Instagram Live at 3 p.m. Eastern time today, and that is just strictly Q&A. So if you have any questions that didn't get answered or you want to ask about any of the new products or any of the Simplified Planner things, then um, come over and join me on Instagram at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and I'll be there to answer them for about 20 to 30 minutes. But if you want to see all the details of our Simplified Planners, all the details of the eight new products that are coming out next Wednesday, you can go to emilylay.com and see them all. They're all marked as coming soon. Um, click shop in the top left of the screen and then go down a little ways and you'll see a button that says coming soon, a, li a link. Click that and you can see all the new products that are coming out next Wednesday. Um, you can also click the very top link in this caption and you can go and see all the details of the Simplified Planners and all the videos. Thank you guys for being so excited with us, and I will see you tomorrow. I know it's Saturday, but we're going to keep this going. Um, I'll be on Facebook Live for about 30 minutes tomorrow. Um, we have big plans for the Splash Park tomorrow, but I'm going to be talking about work-life balance when life is really busy. I wanted to name that work-life balance when life is a circus, but when life is really busy sounded more politically correct. <laughs> um, and I also want to talk through, I saw a question someone asked earlier, and I want, I'll talk through this a little bit tomorrow. Somebody said, how do you stay motivated and keep your energy going through a week like this week? And I have some tips. Um, I've spent literally the last year and a half of my life working on wellness and balance and just taking better care of myself. And that's a big key part of work-life balance. So um, I'll talk through all of that tomorrow. But I can't wait. Be sure you're on our email list so that you get the the free printable that's going out today and all of the ones that are going to continue going out the rest of the week. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow or this afternoon.